Today's New South Wales budget marks the end of budget season, and we're finished on a high for infrastructure with both funding and reform at the centre of the budget. Here's what you need to know. New South Wales has the largest infrastructure programme in the country, totalling $93 billion over the next four years. When spending by state-owned corporations is excluded, the infrastructure spend totals $72 billion. That's a $6 billion uptick on last year's already high watermark. Just to explain, we use the $72 billion figure because it represents the portion paid for directly through taxes rather than utility bills. It's also the fairest way to compare across all states and territories. The New South Wales government expects to deliver a $1 billion surplus in 1920, growing to $2.6 billion in four years. These surpluses will be hard won given the substantial downward revisions in GST and stamp duty revenue. This budget continues funding for many of the state's ongoing mega projects. $56 billion has been set aside for transport over four years, adding to the already impressive road and rail programme. In rail, commitments include $6.4 billion to Sydney Metro West and $2 billion to the North-South Metro line to Western Sydney Airport. And on roads, planning continues for Stage 1 of the F6 corridor extension, the Western Harbour Tunnel and Beaches Link and the duplication of the Great Western Highway. On social infrastructure, the budget allocates $10 billion for health infrastructure and over $7 billion for capital projects across education. Labelling the existing system a mess, the Treasurer announced New South Wales will conduct an independent review of federal funding arrangements. Under the review, New South Wales will seek cooperation of other states aimed at creating a system that rewards those who reform rather than those who don't. This is a call to arms the infrastructure sector welcomes and one which the Commonwealth must respond to. Thanks for watching our analysis of the 2019 New South Wales budget. And thanks for joining me across this budget season. If you like these videos and want more detailed analysis on movements in the infrastructure pipeline, you can subscribe to our updates via infrastructurepipeline.org. If you're a member, a full summary of the budget will hit your inbox today. See you next time.